Hey, welcome to the Post Show, broadcasting live from T-Radio V in Hollywood, California. This is where we elevate the creative cult. This is where creatives can be seen, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for being creepy little stalkers like I am. I'm Poe, as you know. Okay, so let's see. Where's my newspaper? New York newspaper. Okay, I went to this event last Saturday. This was the art opening reception at Thingspace Gallery. Well, that was part of it. With Curiot, James Ballou, and You Are New York. Trippy experience. You guys got to check it out. Uh, Curiot's Act One, Warped Passage, James Ballou's Breaking Point, and You Are New York's Destroyed and Rebuilt. You guys got to start flashing those photos or we're not going to see them at all because there's nine of them. Okay, um, all three exhibitions are on view until uh, June 18th. That's at Think Space Gallery, 6009 Washington Boulevard, Culver City, California. All of these photos are by a Birdman. I don't know about that one and the one before, but these are by Birdman because he was at the event. That's Kiryat. And yeah, that's a fuzzy room you can go in and roll around in. That is what they did to the gallery. Is that incredible? It's like the weirdest, like, psychedelic experience. So that is what Think Space Gallery looks like right now. There's another view of it. And there's me and James Ballou. So James Ballou is Vantage Point Radio Berlin. So he's also the amazing painter of those paintings in the background that are incredible. That. That's what he does. But in a large, large form, that's You Are New York. Those dudes are super awesome. Nice work. Cool stuff. That's them on the cover of the New York Magazine. Okay. So check that out if you guys get a chance. But also, each of these artists also participated in the RFK Mural Festival. That was an art project collaboration put together by Branded Arts, with the Los Angeles Unified School District to inspire students to participate in the arts. What a great thing. Total of 28 murals went up. Some of the other artists who contributed their talent were Risk, Circle, and these are some of the photos from them. Jeff Soto, Bo Stanton, David Flores, Human, and Shepard Ferry. Oh, that was perfect timing. Okay, Branded Arts will lead tours of the murals after school hours for the next month by appointment, of course. So check that out, too, if you get a chance. I haven't seen it, but I would love to because that's really super cool. I'm all for it. Okay, so where is my thing? Okay. So <laughs> okay, but you know what? Let's, um, <laughs> Lumajig Fantastic, show that poster because you're oh, going yeah. to be Yay. performing with uh, Susie Malone. Yeah, Susie Malone has created this amazing show, La Magique Fantastique. She's a... Uh, uh, Everybody knows who she is. Yeah, she's show. been on the show a bunch of <laughs> times. You. She's a burlesque magician. She's amazing. She's on the show. It's super fun. It's very Vegasy. It's very spectacular and showy. And I'm the singer and saucy You're, little host of it. Are you Madame Rouge? Madame Rouge, yeah. yeah. It's, which never is specified in the show. But oh, well, I, I specify. It's, it's not like a plot line or anything. It's a great show. It's a great show. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And Susie actually met these guys before I even met her. Oh, I, I actually I saw that footage, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's Which is so weird. So we, <laughs> the when footage we first of her meeting us? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, when, she was, uh, uh, when she was performing I somewhere at some, I, I, some, some, some comedy improv. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. Think, uh, I didn't think cameras were allowed into the place. That we met oh, well, at. you don't know where I keep my cameras. Nobody <laughs> knows. Oh, when she did the special yes. thing for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we we got to do our first Les Magic show right after their Dr. God show. Which we were super stoked about. The first premiere. And they were all up in the balcony just being wonderful assholes. <laughs> wonderful <laughs> assholes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is um, July 1st. Yeah. It's Friday, July 1st on 4th of July weekend mm -hmm. at the Federal Bar. That's 5303 Lancashire Boulevard, North Hollywood. So check that out. Tickets are $10. I think they're still available. They're they're ten dollars if you get them. Ten dollars if you get them now. They're like way more if you get them later. That's and BP Major is also going to be there performing. He's mm -hmm. been on the show and he's amazing. I'm in love with BP. He's such a sweet, that's a great, amazing. That's a great guy. space, man. Hey, welcome back to the Hollywood Post Show. Okay, Saturday, June 25th at Good Vibes Beach Fest, Trevor Green. You got to check this guy out. He's the bomb. The folk rock world sub pop one man band from Huntington Beach will be performing. He'll also be performing at the Sawdust Festival in Laguna Beach on Sunday, July 17th and Thursday, August 18th. Surrounded by five guitars, three didgeridoos, and an array of percussion instruments, he threads together singable and uplifting melodies 
dynamic instrumentation, heart pounding rhythms, and the haunting sounds of the didgeridoo with his spontaneous improv improvisational uh, ability. He leads his audience through vast landscapes of sound, weaving together a magnetic and spellbinding performance. I can attest to this. I mean, he's incredible. I've seen him many times in Laguna Beach, and he like one man band with what like a ten instruments in front of him, and he sings amazingly too. It's not just instruments. <laughs> he sings great. You, um, for more info on Trevor Green, go to trevorgreenmusic.com. Definitely check him out. I'm not kidding. It's he's the amazing. Of the wind. Oh, it's amazing. It's serious stuff. You should check it out. You'd love it. Okay, and mark your calendars, and I'm serious. Mark your calendars, Ariel. Mark your calendars. You probably know all about this. Okay. The third annual NYC Body Painting Day, Saturday, July 9th, 12 to 4 p.m. at 47th Street and 2nd Avenue, New York, New York. 100 artists will paint 100 nude models of all shapes, sizes, ages, races, and genders. Anyone can come. See it happening. I know the Live guy that's in the front. The <laughs> I know the guy that's in the front. <laughs> of course you do. I do. <laughs> Live at the plaza <laughs> with risers for, th for, the view <laughs> for, for the viewing public to stand on. What'd you say? <laughs> He said, on risers, he was like, Paul risers. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> this year's theme is inner beauty, encouraging artists to draw inspiration from their models' energy and character as they create their art. After 4 p.m., they'll take a ride on double-decker buses through the streets to share the artwork and body-positive message sure, throughout the city. there's a lot of double-deckers going on that day. Mm -hmm. Lots of double-deckers going on on that Dakar. day. Oh, double yeah. Dakar. Body Painting Day is a free public art event created by Andy, I think it's Golub, in 2014. Not Gollum. I think it's Golub. Is it? Do you guys know? I don't no know. No clue. It celebrates Sorry. freedom of artistic expression, body acceptance, and human connection through art. So definitely check that out. That's right up our alley. Right, right up our alley. Learn more at bodypainting.org. Dot, dot, body dot organ. Okay, <laughs> 80s new wave party Woo! is tomorrow at the Whiskey A Go Go. You going? You gonna go? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there's yeah. no cover. It's every Tuesday, but this one is going to be like I said, awesome 80s performers and audience are encouraged to dress in the most bitchin' 80s new wave garb. You guys are gonna be there too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, performers <laughs> include. This is just to name a few. Bow wow wow. <laughs> Oingo boingo dance party. The Nax bassist, Prescott Niles, Brian O'Neill from The Bus Boys, Clem Burke, the legendary drummer from Blondie. Hell yeah, most underrated drummer on the planet. John Carlucci, Fuzz Tones. And of course, Chuck Wright is going to be their bassist for Quiet Riot and J the Jam's primary organizer. The, the other guys are great too, but Chuck does a lot of stuff for that. And again, this is just naming a few of the superheroes that are going to be there and... 100% of the time, every Tuesday at the Whiskey A Go Go, there are amazing names. You got to go check it out. Oh my God. If you haven't, you're missing out on a lot of stuff. We're going to close out with a little rock and roll poetry. Siren Call has just wow. released their new single, Rose Ashes. This alternative rock band with a bit of grunge and melodic pop is a multi international trio based in Vienna, Austria. They've played at our world famous Whiskey A Go Go. Right here in Hollywood, the band bristles with elegant, melodic aggression, Ooh. potent, roaring guitar, and a soulful siren call. So if you dig it, go to sirencallofficial.com for more. Okay, check it out. Cheers. See you next week. Ciao. Keep, keep supporting the arts. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. <laughs> You are watching T-Radio Me, Radio and TV.